You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you're sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man score, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. We're in the building. What's up, Harry? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, man, you know I am. I'm having a tough time keeping these gators down, though. Even during the summertime, it's it's harder. I didn't realize that. It's, it's, it's difficult, but it gets easier. Pimping is easy when you practice. What's up, Dre? You ready to rock What's and roll? What's good, yo? I'm chilling. Got my little baby sheep with me. What are you uh, doing? Uh, what are you doing, Andre? Uh, what what's what's doing? this about? Every time we Andre comes doing? into the show, he's got a new phase of some nonsense he's doing. Whatever, just keep moving on. I got we got a special <laughs> we got a special fucking guest today. Uh, this is my man, my motherfucker, uh, star of the In God We We Trust, Vlad TV, AGTV, all kind of world star, all kinds of shit, <laughs> Showtime specials. My motherfucker, I've been talking about this motherfucker for, for easily five years, uh, probably longer. Give it up for my dog, Godfrey, y'all. Godfrey in the Ooh. building. Yeah. So, it's, uh, 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 turn it over, turn it over. Uh, Shadow uh. boxing. <laughs> Godfrey hey, always fighting hey. somebody. What's going oh, on, oh, man? Oh, slip, slip. <laughs> well, what up, God? What up, what up, what up, everybody? What up, what up, what up? What up, Andre? What up, what up, Harry? What up, what up? What's going on? Yo, yo I want to say first, yo, happy birthday, my nigga. Happy Word, birthday. Happy birthday appreciate, thank you. Appreciate the cake, brother. That was, yeah. right, that was right on time. That was right on time, man. It's all about the birthday cake. All you need is get a good cake. <laughs> good. A good cake with a, with a well, Wu-Tang, what? had a Wu-Tang G on it. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had a Wu-Tang G. This Not a regular was, G. She was dope. Uh, uh, she was dope. This is my ex girl that has the cake that I got. I got made the cake, Harry. Oh, you got your ex. You you banged <laughs> every sort of occupation. So anytime you need something, you just got to go into the black book and That's find it. it. Like God, That's I need it. my shoes resold. What's Suzanne doing? Sorry, I did everything. Yeah. I got a bit. I got a bitch that fixes the bottles. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got the utility chicks, man. Yeah. That's it. That. I got a bitch that's a plumber. Bitch to put <laughs> a, a plumber. A Yo, plumber Amanda, bitch to put an elbow joint on. I don't give a like, fuck. Yo, I need some spark plugs. I call yeah. my other chick. <laughs> Come my spark plug bitch with me. <laughs> I got a bitch that wells. <laughs> well, she she got a life partner now. She got oh, a life boy. partner now, but she wells. <laughs> but they're happy though. They're happy. That's the thing. They're, they're happy. happy. That's Good how for you, them. That's how you know when a chick is a real lesbian when she goes to the barber instead of the beauty parlor. <laughs> Word up. Get an edge up. She's going for an edge up. Like you know, get this part right here. <laughs> Godfrey, what's going on, baby? You know. Man, we here, man. We just trying to build and trying to adjust to this bullshit. You know yes. what I'm saying? Um, I don't know when the fuck this shit's going to end. We just here, man. This is what we doing. This, let, let me say listening. something. Let me say something. Godfrey, Godfrey has been the, has had the cast of... Uh, the, I've been doing Godfrey's podcast a lot. And he has had... He has been bringing the hotties through. Huh? On a like a... Ooh. Huh? A plethora, a plethora of hot. 
Please. The green room is light it, skin, dog skin, tall. Good. All Harry of them COVID free. Harry. Yeah. Cause here's the thing. You're on the gas digital network. I've been to that studio many, many times, but it's never, the green room is never as nice as when I did Godfrey's podcast. <laughs> I don't see the same level of quality when I do a uh, real ass podcast. That's all I'm saying. No offense to Lewis J. Gomez. Well, they're, 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 the legion, they're, they're the legion of skanks, man. What you yeah. Want? I know, but I'm saying it's a, it's a different demographic. There's a lot of guys in like three quarter hey, shorts, wrestling I'll, shirts. Yeah, but when we do that. Godfrey's, I'm all, about, I'm all about that James Bond shit. Dude. Yeah. Fuck that. You know That's what I'm it. saying? I'm Shaft. Bond. John and Shaft. You know what I mean? Fuck him. <laughs> you know I mean? Yo, Dre, let me tell you, we went to Did Godfrey's birthday show. Rod Digger was there. Woo. Oh, shit. Woo. And brand Nubian. Lord uh, Jamal. Uh, Lord Lord Jamal. Jamal. Lord Jamal. God Allah. Was, Yes, God. God all oh, right. Wow. To the, please to the please peace to the to the to the gods Just, of the earth, man. Word up. You know what I mean? Five percent is all day. Yeah. <laughs> all knowledge, knowledge, is born, knowledge wisdom. All knowledge is born. A disciple of knowledge, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Just walked in. I didn't even know. And then he was like, yo, this rod dick. I was like, you bugging. I was like, yo, I got your cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> a cassette. Hell yeah, man! Cassette. Rod Digger, and she, don't, and she don't come out for nothing. That got loose. I had to roll it up with the pencil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah God, 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 God's been looking out for me like nobody else. Putting me on and and talking to his fans and, and just killing it, man. He's cunnies and just, just a good dude. Finally, I feel, feel like, you know, and, I, and, and, and the fans know, God, I've been, you know, I always sing your praises. Am I lying, motherfuckers? All the time. <laughs> no, no. I'm you always singing God's always say praises. It. You always talk Ooh. about him, not just uh, before the podcast, it being one of the guys, the few guys it's hard to follow in the city. <laughs> yeah. Close out. Yeah, he, he makes you. You got to crack your neck. You got to stretch your hamstrings out. I've heard some push-ups. <laughs> heard some stories. <laughs> you got to hurt yourself. You so might hurt yourself. You don't. Hour, every oh, you. Show. Godfrey yeah. hurt a lot of people. Yeah. He ended some careers. He crippled some egos. <laughs> he, Godfrey created some lonely sub -ride, subway rides home. Going, <laughs> man, I don't even you know, know what, if I should know, do you this anymore. Up, you know what's fucked up is like, and most of the time, I'm the one that goes last. So I don't know who yeah. I'm hurting. Yeah. Well, oh, you know who I hurt? You know who I hurt? I think it's the guy that kills and then wants to wait around to see if people can follow him. And then I go up and I go, "You can go home now." <laughs> <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you how you do this. How you do this thing? <laughs> you can go <Yeah>. home now. <laughs> Godfrey, free and single, ready to mingle. You know? Oh yeah, man. You know I'm, I'm wizard. Just, that's why he's smiling like that. No, my A thing is single this. joy. It's one thing is like I enjoy my it's weird because I enjoy my singlehood. I don't have any like I it's like weird because you go people say, Oh, you don't want to be with somebody I go, that's not it. I really enjoy doing what the fuck I want. It's yeah. I wanna know when I'm gonna get tired of it. I love it. I love when I can <laughs> go when I wanna go. No one's telling me where the fuck I wanna be. It, you know it's so funny because we fight for freedoms. We you know, let's be real. We fought for we fight for freedoms all the time, especially black folks. We try to fight for freedom of just having um, a, a regular life, freedom of being able to go where we want, freedom of not being harmed. We try to get financial freedom. We try to get psychological freedom. And then when you have it, right? You have it. People go, yeah. well, well, why do you want that? Yeah, and it's like you can't. You, you're supposed. You're trained to not be happy to be free. And yeah. that's crazy. But someone says, wow, you're. You 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 don't have anybody? I go no. There's people, but I my freedom is is so great. My peace of mind, just oh yeah. But I mean, it sucks because you sacrifice. You know, other people want certain things, but you're just like, well, I kind of like this right here. Yeah. Are you down with it? Not everybody's down with it. You know what I mean? But uh, freedom is great. Shit. Well, you gotta. You also gotta like yourself, though. Yeah. Yeah. I like my own. I like my company. You like being around you? Yeah. Yeah. I like to be by myself for hours. I'm good because my social life, you know, our social lives are great. You know, we yeah. good. But I yeah. like being on my own. I like to be left the fuck alone for a long period of time. Godfrey, <laughs> how long How long you been free, so to speak? For, well, going on four years. 
four years. Yeah. Wow. And not and not and That's... and not stalling at all, not slowing down at, at, at all. Nah. Oof. No. Just <laughs> uh, Look at his smile. Look at his smile. Just look at his look at the joy. Look at the joy on his face. <laughs> he cabbage patching. <laughs> He's doing the breakfast club dance. That's how happy <laughs> Godfrey is. I'm just I'm dancing the best way I can in this box. That's <laughs> I don't like how you're in the hallway and it's better than all our apartments. I don't appreciate that, Godfrey. Oh, that's just, that, that's just, the, that's just the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a filter. Godfrey yeah. is a filter. You know, you know how it's a nice pictures. apartment filter. You know how they take pictures of motels where you're trying to get into a hotel and they use that fisheye camera to make, yeah. them, make shit oh, look bigger yeah. than what that's it is? The <laughs> and then yeah. you go there and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> God, and there was want- a, for a long time, for a long time, like you, I mean, you were in a relationship for a long time. And yeah. then, and then, uh, so, I mean, we talked about this before, like there, you had a little indiscretion and it kind of blew up. And then one of the things that I, that I learned from an entanglement, so to speak, Godfrey, just uh-huh. situation, would you say, Harry? I said an entanglement. Would you say, an entanglement, yeah, we perhaps? Had a little entanglement. <laughs> and <laughs> How come when it's a woman, it's an entanglement, but when it's a man, it's an indiscretion. <laughs> piece, of piece, of piece of shit. <laughs> an indiscretion. An indiscretion. I had an entanglement. He had a little entanglement, but this is this is a this is an interesting concept that happens a lot of times. And, and me and Godfrey had talked about this. It's like you because basically he was doing what he wanted to do. Like he wanted like four years single. He wanted to be single, but he was like fighting against the nature of him being single. And then he did what he wanted. And then he felt bad because he felt bad because he was hurt by it. And then he put up with a lot of shit that I don't think he wouldn't have been. He wouldn't have put up with if he wasn't, if he didn't feel as, I think Godfrey felt bad because he hurt her feelings. And so guys do this where they go, all right, all right, I'll take, you know, you're giving me shit. I'll take it because I fucked up and I hurt you. Right. But it's a weird thing because, and I, and I, I had to learn this myself is that you just because you take it right. Like if you took it and then afterwards they felt better, like if they say, okay, Okay, I got it out of my system. Now I can move on. But they never get it out of their system. It, so you take it. You feel horrible. She still feels horrible, right? And then it never ends. So what's, what's the point? Now everybody feels horrible. Whereas if you don't take it and you go, look, I fucked up and I apologize. And I, but look, either we're going to move on or we're not going to move on. And she makes a decision. To, 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 if she makes an honest decision to move on, then you have to move on. She has to move on, and you can't tolerate her bringing that up and throwing it in your face because right. it never ends. Because she's in this kind of emotional loop, where it's even when she gets the upper hand, when you, even when you allow her to get the upper hand, she's still hurt. So it's it's never satisfying, you know, because it's more like she feels inadequate, you know. Yep. Especially like when when a guy when a girl cheats on a guy, we think, oh, that's thinking ass bitch. When a guy cheats on a girl, a woman will go, What why was I not good enough? Yeah. And so it's crazy? it's go ahead, go ahead, guys, say what you gonna say. No, that's crazy. That's, that's weird that it's like that. That's so Yeah, but we I mean we that's so we we're, we're built different and so so the real pain is their own personal pain and not living up to their to the expectations of what they thought they were and they can't kick that. So the the next thing is to 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 put your nuts in a ringer every chance they get, oh, yeah. because they they're hoping that they getting that pound of flesh feels better, but it never feels better. It never ends. There's never a situation. God, how long did you go through that? That kind of just all right, all right. I know. Two, I, two, three, I, two, three years. It was uh. Wow, really? I didn't even know it was that long. I mean, I was with him ten years, and it was uh, about you know it just festered for a long time, and then 
for, you know, just to be out of that shit is so like, oh, man, thank God. And then we end up, we're friends. We're like best of friends, which is great, you know. And that some circumstances forced us to kind of act like adults and be friends, you know what I mean? Which is good, though, because we are, yeah, like, yeah, it's all good. It's like that chapter's closed, but we're friends, and that's great. I have her back, yeah. she has my back. And that's a good thing, you know, because right. usually and it was about to end. It was about to be fucked up. But it yeah. ended up being all right. Like, oh, okay, yeah. shit. It was some other things that happened that may, were more important than our dumb shit. Way more important. And so we were de we dealt with that. And we were like, oh, you know what? All this arguing, it's not worth it. We need to deal with this shit, you know? Right. So we right, ended right, up. Right. So yeah, but I like I like peace of mind, man. God damn. This shit is great. Shit. <laughs> but the problem is, though, when you meet new B people, <clears throat> they attach to you quick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They attach to you. You're like, oh shit. How do I Why tell them? Do you, that? you think that is? What'd you say? What'd you say? Why do you think that is? Oh, because you know how it is, Dante. We're not. We're not. We we we're not just physical people. We're not just like they people see us. But we have. It's up here. We got. When they start spitting knowledge, they go, "Damn, you're smart." When you when you when they find out. You know, you're a museum guy. You like museums. You read books all the time. You do this. And you, you, you know, you, you actually have really good, like, conversations. You know, you yeah, literally yeah. fortify them as far as knowledge. You inspire them to read or you're into health. You inspire, like, you all the stuff, you know, all the other things that come with the whole physical shit. Right, like, right. You, you, when you open your mouth, people go, oh, nigga, I didn't know you were a fencer. I didn't know you knew this. So that... And you know, women are, are are very sapiosexual. You know, very sapiosexual. They like, like they like intelligence. They like if, if they fall in love with this, like the most. Yeah, yeah. This up yeah. here, you know. And then when you bring that to them, they're like, oh, the shit. The, the, well, well, the looks is the worm on the hook, but it's the thing that stays is that, that makes them stay is everything else. Right, you know, because it's, eventually, it's that's, eventually that's with anybody. Because we yeah. can get the, you get the finest girl in the world, but after a while, she ain't saying nothing. You you start to look at her like, oh, nah, you're like, up. yeah, well, you're right. that's the concept yeah. of all goods. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's your, you get like a nice yeah. car. It looks beautiful, but if it doesn't perform, it's trash. You know what that's, I mean? That's 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 here's a word by James Baldwin. It's called matricious. Matricious is the word wow. having looking good in, uh, on the outside and having no intrinsic value. Matricious. And I think matricious. that's where the word. Uh, I thought Tyson Monte said it was malicious. Matricious. Yeah. Are you sure matricious. Tyson said malicious? He goes, those cookies was malicious. <laughs> You're going to knock your ass out. Tyson working out. Yo, you know, he's fighting. Real, you know, he's having a fight, right? He's, yeah, he's, he's Roy playing. Roy I think it's Roy Jones. Jones. He looks Roy Jones good, Jr. too. Tyson can still got that gun smoke for the arm, boy. Don't he play with him. Looks, he looks Tyson. great. He looks yeah. unbelievable. But see, here's the thing about when you really work out and you start taking care of yourself, your body change. It You can look. People think, oh, man, I got to be 22. Bullshit. There's niggas that are 60, 70 that are ripped. I've, I've been to my gym. I've seen old dudes ripped. Mm -hmm. Like now I've been gym. Right there in the park, niggas be at the bars. Yeah, but, be 40, but 50, 60. You got, but you got to put the work in. You got to put yeah. the work in. You know, you got to, you right. put the work, your body still will act the same way it acts if you put it the work in and you discipline. That's what that shit looks like. This shit is real. It's not fictitious. Hello? Yo, Mike Tyson yeah. is a problem. That's, yeah, that motherfucker yeah. is a problem. problem. And, and 50 something is not old. If he died right now, you'd be like, he was only 50 something. So, do you want like, yeah, the whole, the, like, even the whole concept of age should change. It's more like just your performance. If you can perform at, man, the, at the meeting of the standard, then you're. you're, you're man, you're my thing is this there are, there, there are people who are sickly and they're five years old. There are five year old kids. Yeah, that are sick. so it removes it. It's like a cellular aging thing. If your cells are aging accelerated then you're old right but if your cells are fine you are just because time on earth yo yo what are you gonna say uh yo uh, uh let me di disable my uh, able my uh my screen share harry please all right uh let me i want to show him huh? something this this dude 60 year old dude i was watching this dude on youtube yeah hold on give me one second let me remember yeah, how to do that thing is cutting God, off, you put dude. it in 
Hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't remember how to do that. We've done that before. You gotta, you gotta enable me. I'm trying to to share the screen. I don't even remember Got how it? we did that. Give me a second. I'm working on that. Nah. Uh, Nothing. Allow. Jeez, I'm. Yo, it's... this dude looks crazy, God. Right. He said right. He does something like 500 push-ups. Damn. Yeah. And then you go to see what he looks like. And that's uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all let me in. It's not. Uh, uh, can't do it. One second. I gotta get second. my game up, man. <laughs> I ain't never did no 500 push-ups in one day. You got your motherfucking mind. Then, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even fucking... know. My shoulder would go out. <laughs> yeah, Dante, it's not letting me do it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's not letting me. Uh, don't worry about it. Fuck it. No we'll worries. Suck. I think you have to request it or no something. No worries, Dante. Just describe them. Use your words. Talk slow. Yo, that is 60 <laughs> years old ripped doing 500 push-ups a day. Right. You know, what, 200 you dips. Page, though. Yo, have you seen? Uh, 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 just put in 60, 60 year old dude rip. Harry, you could probably put it up. Let me see. I seen a bunch of those videos. There's a lot of the them, black man. dude. He looks sixty in the face, though. God, <laughs> he looked eighty in the face. <laughs> That's funny. Yo. Hello. Let's see. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta sleep and like you know take care of your skin as well. There's yeah, other yeah. components. Agent. Have, you, have, have you seen the eighty-two uh, year old black woman who's ripped? Yeah. Oh yeah, the see, vegan yeah. woman. Probably eighty-three, eighty-four now. Wow. Yeah. Is this the dude? Uh, nah, video, audio on, on oh, YouTube. That on YouTube. Guy's, I heard he was on steroids. The Andreas Callis guy. Yeah, yeah, not that dude. Go to YouTube. Hold on. Sixty-year-old dude ripped. Yeah, YouTube. like YouTube. You know, you gotta take some drugs to get that a little deck of dura bowling or something. Either you know? way, even if you take okay, drugs, one of the second one. Even uh, if yeah. you take drugs, you still gotta show up and do the work. Yeah. You still gotta do the work, but it does make a fucking hell of a difference. Nah, you gotta put the work in. I'm telling you. No, no, no. Yo, you look at absolutely this. do. But you see this guy got no, but is if you see his teeth make him look old. Yeah, his face ah. is old, but that but yeah, he got an old face in a in a. Oh, Harry, what you about to say? Yeah, he, <laughs> Harry's about to say, but that body. No, man, I was going to say, he's got the body of a 25-year-old. He's got the fucking Dude, face he's of not a... the fuck he's about to say? I think, yeah, he, was, I think I was. he was on crack or drugs at one yeah, time. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm he saying. He was in a joint and stuff like that, yeah. cleaned up. But he was like, he is like 700 push-ups, 10 sets of pull-ups and dips five days a week. God damn. damn. God, Look at that damn. guy. That's incredible. That's crazy, right? But it, it, you put in the work, and that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. 700 push-ups. Jesus Christ. <laughs> damn. Never a day in my life. That's crazy. But, you know, like, getting back to the thing is, like, what you don't, like, you start out, when you start liking yourself, you start liking yourself, you start, you know, you may start out, a lot of guys that I've like coached and stuff, they started out, um, you know, oh, I do this to get girls, or I do that to get girls, and then they, then they, they get their manicure and pedicure together, or they get in there like Harry. I can't. Harry won't wear a pair of jeans unless he takes it to get it tailored. Now, damn right. What am I, an animal? Well, who would do that? <laughs> what kind of maniac would do that? Would just buy them off the rack? That's what I do. Disgusting. Disgusting. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't <laughs> understand that rack. lifestyle. Right off right the, off rack, the rack, baby. Yeah, sure. So but, he, third of four, but it's like you. when you when you like in yourself, when you like in yourself, and then you start to find, you start to do things that you like and that you want to do, and then a woman meets you, she's like, "Yo, this, this, why, this is your energy." You, you know, we teach women how to treat us. They're looking at the way you treat yourself. Now, don't mean, don't don't doesn't mean they're not going to test you. They're going to test you, but when they test yeah. you, you're like, "Oh, go that way." Like, you know, it, for, <laughs> for me, Dante, it was a thing of like I just didn't. I don't know why I never did it when I was younger. I just thought I didn't think much of myself at the time. Or? No, not working out. I always tried right. to work out, but just dressing right. Even even when I was bigger, there were ways to to do it right, and I just had given up because. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't think much like, ah, whatever. It's hopeless. What happened? You were listening to enough rap. Harry, were you like swag? 
I think Harry was a little more grumpier back then too. He was heavier. Oh jeez, yeah, no yeah, you think he's grumpy to the motherfucker? <laughs> you know what the worst part, Godfrey? I thought I was hiding it. I thought I was putting on no, a. Uh, no, you, you look like a fucking Middle Eastern mob boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! And that was me trying, trying and to be really, like, all right. Harry had the chick, he had the girl, and he would come in just a little mm -hmm, grumpy. I'm like, I, I don't know this guy that well, but all right. And, and it was like, yo, what's up with that motherfucker? And then oh, you forget, oh, he's overweight. <laughs> yeah, it ain't great. I'm tired. I was tired. Being overweight, you're just tired all day. <laughs> you think it's around. hard not to be happy. Right. 300 pounds. <laughs> Plus, I'm going, not getting on stage. You, you know, when I was coming around in the early days, I was, you know, watching everyone else perform. So that wasn't great either. Oh, but, yeah. You, you, you know, uh, yeah. You, yeah. You, 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 you. <laughs> but look, you, when you're getting your dick sucked, it's hard not to be happy. That's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you get your dick sucked, you'd be like, oh, man. <laughs> man hey, Gotta everybody. Hi. You, anybody want coffee? Start I'm shooting finger guns at everyone. What's up, everybody? Hey, Turn dude. those frowns upside down oh jesus i've had i've had i've had girls that i you know that i like you know godfrey when when i was like single and it yeah. was just like i was you know running through the rotation right. um it was you know like you, you 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 be honest about what you're you know what you what you you yeah i was always honest it's about what it was, yo. I'm seeing other people, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then the girl would be like, "Oh, I want a date." You know, I'm going out on a date, and I'm like, "All right, cool, whatever, right?" And right. then when the, then they catch feelings, and then when you you because she like she might want a relationship, but she's not saying that, and because the guys who she's dating aren't better than you, <laughs> then they get mad at you. Then you, you now you mad at me. <laughs> and you got to keep swinging back because these dudes is corny, right? Right. And then yeah. they, and then they, then they're, they're holding all kinds of animosity to you because you've been yeah. honest about what it is, so they can't really blame you because you you were, you were straight up, and it's like it you is what it is. Was, but you met me, right? And then she then then you're going out, you're going out on date after date after date, and then the, and then the corn you know whatever cornball dude you're dealing with because he. Don't listen to man right. school two oh two. He don't know no better. <laughs> He's not even put. He doesn't even. He he don't even like himself. You feel me? Like he don't like himself. He don't get his jeans tailored. He doesn't yeah. walk up twenty seven flights with a weight vest on. He don't do. You know what I'm saying? He don't. It's. He and the don't next thing you know, you're at he stand up no New York. You're at stand up New York making Godfrey uncomfortable before he closes out the show. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all grumpy. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's true. You like, you know, I don't know. Big change, though, right, God? With with Harry. Yeah, uh -huh. big change. Just, just, I was like, whoa. Was like, and, but, but, but then you understand. Yeah. In hindsight, when you look back, you go, oh, you know, when when you when you meet you meet people at that moment, you make your judgments from that little situation. You know, which is is unfair, but that's just na that's just a nature. Of oh, that's just I think you were dead on. Yeah. I think your assessment was dead on. I think he, when I met when him and I met, he was he was grossly unhappy with his life. I grossly mean, that's unhappy the reality. I was miserable. Grossly unhappy with his relationship. Um, the, the person he was with, he wasn't happy about that. He, you know, and you know, we all have the things that we want to be sure. better, but sure. he had very little happiness in his life. You know. Yeah, and I mean that's and, the reality. Your assessment is is pretty fair on because I was grumpy. I wasn't happy at the time career wise because right. I wanted to be on stage and I wasn't. I was just hanging out hoping somebody would drop out. And then also, right. yeah, I wasn't happy with my weight. I wasn't happy with the re relationship. And so yeah, I was unhappy and I didn't like myself as a human being at that point. And it took a long right. time to start chipping away at all that shit until I was able to be happy. Until I was able to you know, fix my clothing, dress better until I was able to, you know, be better with relationships and dating little by little by just working at it, you know, and then now, yo, God, it was a time when he would never have that polka dot shirt on. That would have been <laughs> that polka dot shirt would have he would have fought me. He would have fought me to wear that polka dot shirt. 
I mean, you know, twenties. I'm like, oh, that shirt's nice. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it's because as a fat guy, you just start. What happens is you give up on what the clothing options are because it's it's a lot of. First of all, you just want to wear a lot of black to try to do the best to alleviate the swelling, so to speak. (laughs) So you walking around dressed like Johnny Cash because you think that's the best fashion option. And then also, yeah, you just, and they don't have a lot of options. Stores don't give a fuck about fat. It's hard being a fat person. I can just now start shopping at Old Navy. Like, just how, many, how many pounds are you down, Harry? How, how many pounds are you down now? This year, I'm down about, I think, between 30 and 40, depending on wow. when I was, when I started. Yeah. And it may, it's a, huge difference like literally it's one of those things uh I, I went shopping with my girl and she was like you have to buy that sweater i'm like i i'm not gonna fit in that sweater i still have that old mentality like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try anything i'm not gonna fit in and then it's like baggy on me because it it fucks with you mentally like you still yeah. Yeah. it takes a while for you to that's why there's guys who especially in like show business there's guys who get really successful and now they got they're on a show or something and women are flocking to them and they don't know how to handle it because they've never had that experience before. So then they fucking wild out. They go yeah. nuts and they don't know how to treat people. Start raw dog and everything. <laughs> Say it again. Start, Start raw, raw dog, dog and everything. Mad leaving it in. Well, I don't I don't blame them too because you have to understand <laughs> that too because the women that are not are, are really nasty to you and you're getting your revenge. So I think they deserve it. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Remind us not I mean, to call you to testify <laughs> for the uh, Harvey look Weinstein at, at, trial, Godfrey. Look at a guy like Jeff Bezos who made $13 billion in one yes. day the other day. God right. damn it. $13 billion. He's crazy looking. And you don't think he's going to fucking take advantage. He's going to be like, all right, I, People kill me when people go, man, as soon as they get money, they start womanizing. I go, yeah, because yeah, they can. Women, women manize the fuck out of us when they're in high school. When you ain't got no money. When you ain't got no money. So they do the same thing on a different level. And then yeah, but they get they get caught. They get caught up to it's that it's that one that gets right, but it's that one that gets their num gets that number gets their number and then because they get their number then they really get put through the ringer. It's the thing is that your money really doesn't look. I I get. Hello? I lost you, but, you there but for the a second. Are, the time. women that are gonna fuck the the women that are gonna fuck with you because of that. And not when they, she don't like you no way. She like your money, you know. But that's but that's most of these wealthy motherfuckers in the first yeah. place. That's most of that. And I yeah. think that if unless you're a super super nerd, those rich motherfuckers know that they go cool. At least I'm getting pussy. You can get this. Yeah. I can give you a boat. You can ride on my boat and all that. That's yeah. that's nothing. That's that's chump change. You can have that bullshit as yeah. long as I'm boom. We good. So it's an even. They look at it like a product anyway. Right, it's an even exchange of bullshit. Like you, you want right. my, and I want some put, and you can hang around and look pretty cool. We good, you know. Yeah. That's, that's cool. You remember Larry David? Dudes. Larry David said that that somebody was like, "Oh, these women only want to date you because you're you're rich." He's like, "Yeah, I know. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, mean, I get it." But but let's be real though. People they want to be around you because of something. Mm-hmm. I mean, some type of benefit. They got to be able to benefit from something. Yeah. If you're a tall guy, hey, I like him because he's tall. Some women like just tall motherfuckers. And hey, that's why she likes me. I mean, they like you for something. So fuck it. If it's that, then yeah. Uh. But guess what? My result is, am I, am I, that's what, I want to know if I'm. You, know, <laughs> you, just, you just care about the, the net gross. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> if, I want you to know I changed that tempo up. See how he changed the tempo up? <laughs> yeah, you gotta slow down. If you wanna <laughs> now he's doing the swim. Wow, that goes deep. I've never seen moves. Now the uppercut. Now he's going with the uppercut. You That's can see Godfrey's dance. All right. the board. You can see all of Godfrey's moves if you want to go to the (laughs) if you want to go to the YouTube channel. You can see all of uh, now he's doing the finger, just going wow, very specific finger into the hand and then back into the fist. (laughs) He's backing it out. He put it in reverse. (laughs) Everybody pussy. Everybody pussy. 
<laughs> and an elbow drop. He's doing the Randy said the Dusty Rhodes elbow drop. <laughs> bionic like, elbow. Do the snooker. Do the do snooker. The <laughs> palm strike. From the top of the cage. He's going from the top of the cage <laughs> on top of Don Morocco. <laughs> in Madison Square Garden. Randy Savage oh, elbow dude. drop. He's doing it all. God damn. God as long punishes as he, the pussy. As long as he can do all that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care how. As long as you get to the finisher. Then you, you what happens when you're tired? You're like. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. As long as you. With us, with guys, we're just, we just want that, really. We want, that's what we want. We don't want nothing else. We want to have that's, things. That's, that's so not, I mean, well, here's the thing. That's what you want initially. Initially, but yeah. Then, but then afterwards, you want you want somebody you can talk to. You want somebody who has you know, something to say, who, who brings value. Say, but you still want that ability to have that available yeah. to you. Sure. Of course you want somebody to be able to talk, because if you're an intellectual, I'm an intellectual. You guys are intellectuals. Right. That's what we naturally want because we are always right. looking to be fed knowledge. We are knowledge right. speakers. We love knowing shit. I love know. You know, you you're a guy, history buff. You love knowing <laughs> dates and this this that. I'm the same way. I love like random information. I'll look it up. I'll go. What the fuck does that mean? What what, what does that mean? What I was looking up Alfonso Rubiero because I know Alfonso. He's been my dude for a long time, right? You know, Carlton from Fresh Prince, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I've known him for a long time, and, you know, and we know the, some of the same people. We used to party at the same places. And uh, I just looked him up, you know, because I was going, Rubiero, I think, he because he was born in the Bronx. Uh-huh. Born in the Bronx, but he's Trinidadian. Oh, really? I didn't know that. He's Trinidadian, but he's a, a Calypsonian. His, his grand, grandfather's Calypsonian, so that's... The, uh, uh, that's a a, a sing a, a person in in Trinidad that sings. It's like a singer. His uh -oh. his, great, his grandfather calypso was, singer, yeah, yeah. was a Calypsonian yeah. singer, like the, like the mighty Sparrow. <laughs> right. They called him Lord Lord Hummingbird or some shit. Oh really? Like, yeah. He comes from that. So he's he's Trinidadian Tobagan American. Yeah. From the Bronx. So I was just like, you know, because I was like, you know how you when you Wikipedia. When the words yeah. are in blue, you can press yeah. on that word. Yeah, go, on that, yeah, yeah. And that, you go down that rabbit hole. But that's the kind of person I am. I want to yeah. know what that means. Like, oh, ooh, what is that blue? I'm going to see what that means. Yeah. I'm, I love that type of shit. That, yeah. that, but see, if you, when you're that type of person, you want to be around a person that's going to be able to give you that kind of exchange. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, and I've, I've said this to Harry several, several times. It's like, and uh -huh. Harry's seen this. A lot of times we get guys who, is, who, who consider themselves progressive intellectuals, right? And then I start, they, we start the interview and yeah. we start talking. And then, then, I, then all of a sudden I feel like I got an edge. You know what I mean? Then I start pulling away. And, and then, it's a, then it's two, you know, it's two, two, two horse lengths, then three, then four. And you, you, then you the, hit the straight away, you're like. <laughs> and then and then you're like you're like where's where's do that you know Godfrey is one of the own one of the only dudes who I would go you know, first of all if I hit a stride Godfrey like nigga go ahead run but then <laughs> I take a breather and Godfrey will be like that genealogy shit he does like Calypsonian we did a thing we did a thing where we were looking at different types of people, Laotians and, and, yeah. uh, and Moldavians and, 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 Hello? Uh -oh. like he, was like, he was like, oh, no, that nostril. Yeah. He was like, that nostril is a millimeter too big. He's Moldovian. Moldovian. <laughs> 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 That's fucking great. It froze and then opens back up with nostrils too big. He's Moldovian. <laughs> That's the perfect way to unfreeze. Yeah, that was where he's Moldovian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, 
and then, and I'm like, but I, and, and then when I'm out of my when I'm out of my league, which I'm almost never out of my league. I'm never in a situation. You know that, Harry. I'm never like, well, yo, no. I gotta. I, let me. And, and Godfrey goes, and I got all right. I gotta let me let me get a breather while he goes, and then Godfrey will go for a solid hour. Wow. Bang, 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 and I'll be like, I'm out of this, yo. Yeah, but, but you, it's a, it's it's a good history. feeling. Yeah, the history stuff. I'm like, wow. You, I mean, you know, because it's just what we are interested in. I like history yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. but I'm you're really into political and the historical and ratifications of laws and <laughs> you'd be like, cause in 1835, <laughs> you know when Dante gets his explanation hand going. This <laughs> hand, the explanation <laughs> hand. When, oh, it's over. When Don when, da, when Dante gets this going, it first starts off like that, then he'll go, So you are fuck. Mm. When this gets out, <laughs> when he does that. It's it's gonna be an hour. Um, every every no, once in a while, <laughs> every once in a while, Dante is like starting on a rant. I turn around and then I turn back. And he's got Malcolm X glasses on for some reason. I'm like, what? <laughs> Everything is changing. Every time, changing around. Yeah, every time I turn around, then one time he had a pipe in his mouth, like a plastic pipe, and a he got dreads now. So yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So yeah, but it's like you, I didn't know. Like he said, you know, Mississippi, they just ratified. Um, 2015. Um, Mississippi and Alabama is another country, bro. The slavery <laughs> thing. When you told me about that, I didn't know. I was like, What was oh, that again? What, what was that fact, Dante? Mississippi. Which one? The one you're talking about, Mississippi. Mississippi. So you know when people say get over slavery, right? And I and the the, uh, the thing is that in Mississippi, the Thirteenth Amendment Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, oh, I remember this now. They just didn't sign you know, it or the, something. The, the, the law, it, the amendment passed, but Mississippi didn't uh, ratify it until Jesus 2015. Christ. So they were like, Yo, let me see how this slavery shit works out. I'm like, niggas, oh, no. 2014. We're yeah. like, well, right, let's give it one more year. It's like, you know, that's how systemic the system is. But it was like, you can't, you can't even understand. It's, it's just, it's, it's really that, that knowledge, but it's just, Oh boy! Check out Godfrey's cop podcast with such a joy. To, you know, I, it's just it's nice not to have to talk to these idiots all the time. <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> what? Well, I refute that. I understand why you would hate Andre. He's got like uh, a goat or an alpaca behind him. But what did <laughs> I do? Look how cute it is, though. Come on now. That's a good <laughs> alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's like sure you want to have a conversation that doesn't involve weightlifting and protein shakes i get that oh, you don't want to talk to andre do. shut up tubby <laughs> <laughs> you know that would have hurt me three months ago andre i don't care you know, it still hurts you your cholesterol don't you know, get that's not right man we're just trying <laughs> to have fun here why well, you got why well, you got to make it serious nothing. man we're just trying to have a nice time here. You gotta <laughs> just trying to have some good, clean fun. You gotta get your, personal, bro. Your blood pressure pounding on your on your fingers <laughs> is what hurts. <laughs> Are you saying my capillaries? Boom, boom, sounds like a bass drum. <laughs> <laughs> your alveoli is in pain. <laughs> I hear your diastolic and systolic <laughs> volumes. We can lower that shit. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to get anatomical with the cardiovascular. <laughs> I don't like. When did the dozens become so intellectual? What's going on here? Yo, that's why you be like, man, your diastolic and systolic yeah. volumes is fucked up, man. You <laughs> sound like a Wu Tang member. Yeah, you know, all the time I'm always sounding oh. like that shit, man. You, man, with your ventricles, man. You got four oh. ventricles, man. Your ventricles. Your plasma is thick like mayonnaise. <laughs> Hey. Your, your, your aorta, your aorta looking real dirty, son. Right yeah. now. Uh, I need a RZA beat right now, nigga. We could go platinum. Yeah, word up, bong bong. No, man. Bong, yo, bong. yo. Your cardiovascular system is out of whack. Yeah, your cardiovascular, your, your arteries and your motherfucking capillaries is mad dilated. Yo, I can tell the way you talking. Yeah. 
The way you the way you talking, you got an enlarged heart, B. I can tell. <laughs> so you got arrhythmia, man. That's like you know <laughs> your, your, your your heart is off rhythm, arrhythmia right this now. This nigga's mom yeah. got arrhythmia. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this mom got arrhythmia. <laughs> You got to check me, man. Word up, man. Word yeah. up. Your heart is skipping a beat, man. That's your shit. You're deficient in your motherfucking, your magnesium, Yo. potassium. That's why the charges ain't working together right now, son. Damn, you need that NACL, Harry. man. You losing the sodiums, kid. Word. Losing it, kid. Bong, bong. Nah, man. Bong, so bong. All day, all day, all day. All Yo, day, all day, every day. Vitamin K, nigga. Ah! Potassium, <laughs> potassium. Hey, baby, you know what the K stands for, man. Word up. Word up. Word up. Word up. Yo, yeah, son, you, need, uh, you a... need more regular bowel movement, son. <laughs> Word up. You need that bowel movement. Get that water through that dotanum. That dote in them, man. That's, yeah. the, that's the motherfucking large <laughs> intestine, dude. What's good? I'm fit. I'm feeling a disturbance in your lymphatic system. The lymphatic system. You know about the lymph nodes, baby. What's good? Now, mate? Come on, get that shit flowing, dude. I don't think your adrenals are functioning well. (laughs) Your shit ain't functioning well, man. Your cells, man, you losing motherfucking that ATP processes, kid. Where's your mitochondria or that? This nigga got gout. (laughs) 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 Oh, I forgot this was still about me. I got so lost into the bet. I forgot this started with me. Started having fun, nigga. Stop it. I was enjoying it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Stop it, stop it. He's having too much fun. That's fucked up. That's no good. That's that's funny. Yo, now I gotta do 500 push-ups now. Hey, 500. Oh man, that'll cure the pain, baby. <laughs> Oof. Shit, I never in my life. I'll try. Seven. It. I'm gonna tell you, I didn't know it was seven. I'm gonna try and get up there. I'm, I'm gonna. gonna I, and... I'll do by ten. I'll do it in ten, in, like ten increments of ten. Well, he said he says he does it in increments, but he, you know, you but he still to. does seven hundred. The total is seven hundred at the end of the day. He at the end of the up. day, he's doing. Damn. So he's doing probably 100 push up clips. Push ups. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So one set is probably like 100 push ups straight, and then he just goes. Oh, Here, my God. here's the thing. You got to also be out of jail with no job, though. Yeah. Hey, that's the- it's a lot of push ups, yo. Yeah, <laughs> but that's unemployment, right? <laughs> and you can't have, you can't do that. That got to be your job. Seven hundred pushups got to be your job. You got to get a yeah, pension. Bro. I mean, I don't know for a fact that he doesn't have a job, but that interview did take place in a public park basketball court <laughs> with his shirt off in the middle of the day. So it so doesn't look, real. it doesn't That's look wrong. That motherfucker had old man mouth, yo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that motherfucker said like that. Yeah, man. So you know what I'm saying? I was like, Damn, you look, of the day. yeah. You gotta not look at his face. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta look at his chest to believe in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you look up, you're like, no, nah, you lying, you lying, you lying. That nigga's that 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 Vietnam. That nigga's <laughs> mouth look like an old hooker's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn down the block, turn you ain't, you ain't finished. You ain't finished yet. Uh, 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 leave yeah. it on the. <laughs> Yep, mouth. Oh, there we go. What happened with Dante? Yo, here? Dante oh. shit keeps yeah, cutting off. The- yeah, Dante, your internet's been cut off a little bit. I don't we know can't... what the fuck is going on. I don't know. Don't reset really it now because it's some joke and it paused on you. Yeah, <laughs> we missed the tag. We <laughs> missed the. Tag. We'll never know how you tag that that no hooker tag. pussy no mouth tag. joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a non-tag Wi-Fi. It was a. It was... <laughs> yep. Stop yeah, you again. There Stop we go again. Yeah, it was an fly. act out. I said it quick. No, no <laughs> act outs. <laughs> Just hit the punchline and move on. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? If you, you had a one liner, one liner, you had yeah. a one liner fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you got to Anthony Jesselneck this. Anthony Jesselneck. I'm Jesselneck-ish. cutting it off, but I catch y'all right in in mid laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, so Damn, dope, God, man. so dope, man. That's so dope hanging with you. So dope doing it, doing the show, and yeah, and learning, man. It's, it's, it's oh, 
Oh, boy. He yeah, I've been in for him so dope. Like, you know you get I mean? to a certain level. The, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Am I cutting off again, Harry? Yeah, you got cut off again. I don't <laughs> no know what's worries. going I, on. I, I, I fill in for you, though. Whenever you stop, I fill in. I'm All right, be, cool. We'll I'll do that. We'll do that. Like, oh, boy. It's, it's dope. Did it cut off yet? No, you're good. You're still good right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's dope. Like, you know, when you when you go on this journey, what happens and you start <laughs> to really enjoy the time with your family. Make yourself, it becomes <laughs> lonely. <laughs> Andre feeling it like it's match game or whatever, and the answers do not make sense at all. <laughs> When you start this journey, and Andre is like, you're going to want to start at like 30 pounds or a manageable weight. He goes, you know what's really? (laughs) Those are the Moldinians. Let me tell you the single most important piece of advice anyone has ever told me. (laughs) And and that's why I I smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna do a speed test while y'all talking. Oh, Harry, you take funny. the interview. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Funny, God man. damn. Man, God, it, yeah. Let, let me ask you this: Always a confident guy or not? Because as long as I've known you, at least you know you've been a confident dude when you were younger. Or when did you develop confidence, man? Always, always. I always had the confidence that I was gonna be a good comedian because I figured. Wow, this is really hard. So I think that if you actually do it a lot and practice diligently, you can get good at it. Right. Because I was thinking from an athlete's point of view, and I'm sure you, you know, you're an athlete, Andre. So you 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 go because I was I've had some great coaches in my life that literally, you know, my track coach, my football coach, baseball coaches, they they you literally have to show up and practice hard like you're in a game and you get good at it and you go and it was like oh wow i'm getting good because you put in the work and i took it and comedy is a very physical thing you gotta work at that shit like and i know you've noticed that you go damn right time by you go damn i'm almost in this 10 years and i'm still yeah getting, i'm not really getting you know i'm still just hitting the surface and and so I was always confident about that. I knew that I had the skill to be a really good comedian. It's just a matter of me getting the craft out. Like I just, you know, when you're a new comic, you know, you know, your jokes aren't that great, but you know, there's the potential there. Once yeah. I go through life, get experience, I knew that. That was how confident I was. I said, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do good at this shit." But the one thing where I don't get confidence at, and this is real, is when I'm. Like create if I have an idea for shows and stuff, and I go to meetings, I don't feel confident. That's yeah. that's, that's my feel because of the control part. It's the it's a, it's like I feel out of control because my jokes are mine. I can yeah. control it the way I want to. I can say it the way I want to. I know how I'm going to affect this audience today. I'm going to just piss everybody. It's 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 because I have the control. Nobody's telling me what to do. You know. Well, that's, that's I mean, I, it's but it, but for pitching shows. Like yeah. when I when I work with somebody and we co- co- collaborate on something and we got to go into a room, I uh, my confidence is like, oof, it's like it's 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 at yeah fifty percent. Is it because of the repetition? Like, what? Yeah, it's well, it is repetition. If you do it, if it, if you do it more frequently, of course. Yeah, yeah I would get better at it, but I'm not always doing doing that, and yeah. I'm not always pitching shows, you know, which I'm trying to get into that position to start doing more now. Because I'm more, I'm more honest with myself, and I'm I've cut the fat out on proving, trying to make everybody happy. I'm like, this is where I'm at. So the confidence comes from also getting rid of the bullshit and the obsequious and, and trying to get everybody to like you. It's like not everybody's gonna like. You. Oh, you realize after a while. Oh yeah, all that shit was a waste of time. Not everybody's gonna like you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it doesn't mean you gotta you make know- everybody. What? God, let me ask you something, because because like I get, a, you know, I've been doing the consultations and stuff. And what I find more than anything is a lot of immigrant parents, because you know, Agafi's Nigerian, the, the immigrant parents are worried about survival. Mm-hmm. Like their point is survival. So all that other social stuff and that other interest, it's it's like get your education, get a job, make money, did it. So yeah. it, you don't they don't have a lot of times they parents, immigrant parents don't give that extra oomph to give you to the, they're, they're not coddling your confidence. So you have to and the thing is there's such control freaks 
about yeah. everything that when you become an adult, a lot of times I find a lot of immigrant dudes, they're rebelling against their parents because yeah. they've, they've been so, <laughs> so controlled so much. And so the freedom of having freedom and kind of and then and then getting to the point where you go, I'm living my life for me instead of for what my parents think is a is a is a bit but then what happens is you start to fight you're fighting against control that that's not even controlling you because you you're so you know you're still fighting your dad like if even for me and i mean you know my parents was you know descendants of slaves and stuff but my dad was old school born in 1920 so his thing was you i tell you what to do you do it and right. so my and a, and a lot of stuff what i did was and why i got like 15 16 fur coats is because i couldn't have what i wanted and right. so when i got older i always get what i want like if you don't you, if you don't get it for me i'm gonna get it myself but then you start fighting that battle even when there's no battle oh right. you oh you're not gonna tell me what to do well i'm just Yo, just, right. I mean, you know, you chill, like, what the yeah. fuck? Because yeah. it's so ingrained, and you and uh, you have that a lot of, with older parents, and you have a lot of that with, with immigrant parents, because yeah. they don't get to, it's not that they don't get to flourish, but they're more concerned about survival than they are about flourishing as right. an individual, yeah. you know? Yeah, and uh, yeah. that, um, yeah, man, because it, 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 and it is, and it's also about, the, you know, controlling your own shit. And then the yeah. immigrant thing kicks in too. Yeah. Unfortunately, well, not. I think fortunately, with the with the Hollywood shit. Yeah. It's like I'm all about integrity. I'm all about like, oh, what are my people gonna think of me? Uh -huh. How am I representing them? Because they're looking to me to represent them. Right. You know, am I gonna do what Terry Crews is doing? I'm not gonna talk <laughs> like that. I mean, I'm yeah. being honest. I'm not gonna yeah. talk like that. That's that to me. That's crazy to me. Unless. They're injecting you with something or something we don't know about when you become successful. Maybe they they put a truth, a weird serum in your body. Yeah. But I would never Black talk supremacy. like that. I would well, never talk my like pops, that. My pops used to say this: you could oh, you could buy you could buy a nigga th niggas three four quarter. You could always buy a Candace Owens. You could always buy a Terry Crews. You could always buy somebody to turn against this thing. I was just reading this thing uh, the other day about um, there was a rebellion out of. Uh, Louisiana was mm -hmm. coordinated throughout the plantations. I forget the guy's name, but it was over 250,000 slaves that were going to rebel at once. Right. And two, 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 two niggas snitched uh. and, 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 and stomped out the rebellion. Can you imagine if 250 thousand slaves that rebelled at one time and just Ooh. went through the plantations and 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 murdered all the plantation uh masters and oh, the, yeah. the, the 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 whole game would have changed and this that was after awesome. this was after slavery so this was after the civil war so the, the even the civil war the union army and the confederate army they had killed each other so they were so weak they were yeah, weak which is yeah. which is why which is why they were rebelling because right after that, after that, after that, uh, after the Civil War, there was, this is why black people, so many people say, you know, emancipation was 1860, 1865, you're, um, let's see the three or five, I'm not sure, but, but right. they say, oh, that's when, you know, white people always go there, that's when slavery was over. But what they don't understand is it's not over until there's somebody to enforce it. So the Union Army was so depleted that they couldn't, that people, they was like, niggas was running around, we free, we free. And I'm like, nigga, they was like, get back mm -hmm. to work. Because right. there was nobody to enforce it, to enforce right. the freedom. So that went on for five years. And the, 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 the Union Army was so depleted that if 250,000 slaves had gotten, they had gotten guns and stuff, and then they got snitched on, and they wiped out the whole. So fuck you, Conway, Kanye. Kanye, you don't know what the fuck you' talking about. Just shut your mouth and go right. do a beat. Go yeah, write a beat, you idiot. You do, do, you that. Think, do you guys think that that's uh, an issue of bipolar behavior? As uh, sure, it, talking sure about? it is, but it, but look what he's talking about, though. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? That's 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 sacrilege. You're talking about Harriet Tubman. Like my yeah. thing is, I don't know if you believe in this, but I really, really, and I want to talk. I want to tap into this more of uh ancestral spirit yeah 
I, I mean, I. Hold on, his, his mic. Your mic went. God, your mic went. Did he Back in the go? day, there we go. like when I was in college, we had this brother named Fundishi Mpatanishi, brother, sick ass historian brother, man. He would come to our, we would, we would bring him into our, our schools, African American Cultural Center. And he would do this thing before we started our meeting. He would knock on the wood. Like he would do this knock on the wood. He says, we knock on the wood because we, we're calling our ancestors, the African, we call our ancestors. We want to bring our ancestral spirit into this meeting. You know, that shit was heavy to me, man. I was like, right, right. Wow. he said, we always knock on this wood to, to bring in our ancestral spirit because we want that in there before we start to talk about. I thought that was dope. You know what I mean? Well, here's the thing, Gav. You know I'm an atheist, and I, I tend not to be very sp more more pragmatic than anything. But I will say this, that I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't deny the – because if you think about it in terms of physics – there is no energy energy, cannot be, energy is never destroyed every energy is never destroyed so right. the vibrations from ancestral energy i i that's, that's what i mean that's right. what i mean not not right. on some, i'm talking about that on some right, universal right. laws that einstein and sir isaac newton and probably yeah. of course egyptians already right. probably africans already figured it out but right. but We'll just be basic now, but but like why Einstein, like when Einstein was talking about, you know, the photoelectric, because that's what he won the Nobel Prize for was photoelectric theory. But the theory of relativity, they were hating on him because he was, you know, the fact that he was Jewish, they were they were really being yeah. anti-Semitic against him because yeah. he was figuring out. She never like we ain't gonna let this Jewish cat now nah, fuck mm -hmm. all that, even though he spoke German, mm -hmm. right. you know. But he was talking about light. You know, he came, you know, he was saying light bends. My, light actually bends. It actually mm. bends. So mm. he was like, he literally was figuring out mathematically the laws of the universe. Like, he was like, right. spirituality. Right, in a right. Way. He goes, light is bending. Like, it's literally bending. It's not just. Right. So he's saying the ether is, it. there's is a substance. There's an right. ether in this bitch. Right. And that's what I mean by the spirituality. When they talk right, about right. Law of attraction, when they talk about what you think will come. He's talking about that ether, that light, where light is bending, that that material is what brings shit to, to existence. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why I fuck with Einstein. I'm a big Einstein. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was, it, it's like, I'm thinking that more scientifically. Right, right. I, I, I like, I'm, I don't talk about it in terms of spirit, but if you can give me a, a physical, in terms of physics, the, the physical explanation of it, then, then I'm willing to go with you because there's, there's proof of it. So, right. I mean, I, I definitely think that's a vibe, you know, it's vibration. I mean, when we talk about, anytime I talk about giving, you know, teaching guys how to, how to approach women, there's a, there's a vibration to your energy. There's a vibration and a timing and a, and a rhythm to your movement that changes. I, I used to say this about, and we're going to, I know, we, I know Harry gave me the fucking the five second thing, but the mm -hmm. but um, even something as simple as slowing down pace, the pace of your speech, when when you see somebody and they speak in slow pacing, it's it's it, the expression is that what you're saying is important and it has gravity, and because it has gravity, we need to make each <laughs> syllable count. To the same token, when I, I, you know, I used to say this, tell this to Barry Ribs, like he talks like that all the time and then he has nothing to say and then you feel betrayed because he's he's held you up and taken yeah. all your time to tell yeah. you something that you perceive is going to be important and it has no and substance. Barry Ribs used his old white man face to trick you. Yeah. <laughs> you think he's like, wow, Barry's going to say something. And then, and then, it's, like, and then you're like, nothing. You're and assuming you're standing there in you're front of my mood. You're like, what is going on here? You're and assuming there's we, some we wisdom talk, there. Oh, and there's nothing there. <laughs> that's like when we were talking about Deepak Chopra. You know, the, <laughs> he just says nothing. Nothing. With, just with nothing. cosmology and... <laughs> 
the, with the most high in divinity. What, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You, you said nothing. So nothing, nothing you bum. <laughs> God, <laughs> yo, thanks for doing the show, God. I, you, you know, know I God. appreciate the fuck out of you, bro. Yo, appreciate it, man. Y'all, it was dope. This was great. I like that. Y'all on time and shit. Third nah, up. We don't play. We don't play. Right, that's why we got. That's why we got a white guy here. Well, not really. I'm well, not white. Nah, you know, not. Let's not get that rumor started in 2020. <laughs> he it looks like he works on the docks. Like he's, yeah, he does look like he, he works on the docks, does the bookings, yeah. but then he fucks up sometimes. You got one more time, you ask, where's the yeah. fucking money? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. God, thank you, man. Thanks for doing this. No I doubt. appreciate thank you, bro. You, all right, boy. All right, I holla. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah.